Hey guys, it's your inner chakra. So welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, you are welcome. Guys, I have a second channel called the Pisces channel. So if you are a Pisces, dating a Pisces, cross watching for a Pisces, family, friends, or a Pisces, flip on over there. But right here, right now, we're gonna do some urban bricks, some feelings and emotions, and then some sex in the city. So first deck is gonna be your past with the person that's on your mind. The second deck is going to be your present. And then the third deck is gonna be your future, right? And then I'll add tarot on the end. So let's get it, guys. This is your past, present, and future. With the person that's on your mind, the person that you're dealing with right now, what happened in the past, what's going on now, and what does the future look like, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. For the collective, what went on in the past with Holy Spirit? Mm. It says you were a good girl, and I took advantage of your kindness. Okay, what else happened in the past, Spirit? Ooh. It says, our connection is like a book. It keeps going and going. What else happened in the past, Spirit? Cards jump all the way out. Thank you. This connection was only sexual for me. What else happened in the past, Spirit? You never listen. You hear what you want to hear. What happened in the past, Spirit? It's not cheating if I'm not your man or woman. All right, guys. So there's a few things going on and there's a lot of people watching, right? So for some of you, they feel like they took advantage of you. They feel like this connection is like a book and it just keeps going and going. For others of you, they just feel like this was just a sexual connection. They could also feel that they still took advantage of you because it was just sexual. They also feel that you're hard-headed. You don't listen. Everything's about you. You hear what you want to hear. It's like they can tell you the truth and you don't believe it. They can tell you a lie and you don't believe it, right? So, but they did clear it up and say, it's not cheating if I'm not your man or woman. So even though y'all hung out, this and that, whatever, uh, y'all kept this book going for a very long time, you never solidify that connection. Like you never got a title. So if you felt that they dipped off on you, you never got a title. It was just sexual for them, right? And the connection was just like a book. It just kept going and going. So you was a good girl and you just kept letting this person in and whatever. And sometimes I think women think, you know, you have sex, now you're in love. You have sex, now he's in love with you. And that's not the case. It's like men can separate and divide that shit. You better compartmentalize. Be like, yeah. Be like, yeah, we slept together. And, and, oh, you done. <laughs> Lady, that's how you got to get. So what's going on now, spirit, with the present, right? This is feelings and emotions of a loving man, guys. This is one of my decks. All right. So they say you make me want to do better. So they definitely see you. They know who you are. You make me want to do better. What else is going on with this person? How do they feel about you in the present? I want to be the man you've been searching for. Mm-hmm. What else is going on in the present, Spirit? I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. Wow. So that this was only sexual to me changed. They just had to grow up from your past to your present. In your present, they loving on you. What else? It says you never listen. You hear what you want to hear. And on that, it says, let a good man be a good man to you. So it's like, guys, you don't believe this person. You don't believe nothing they say to you. And they, they're telling you to shut the hell up and let a man be a man. Right? And they said, I don't see life without you. Damn. All right. So far, so good. What does the future look like? That was your past. That was your present. This is your future collective. Will you marry me? If that's the future, I love you too. Okay? Mm. That was in the pre-shuffle. Mm. What's going on in the future, Spirit, for the collective? Right? Beautiful read. Our dreams are finally coming true. This is the Sex in the City Oracle. All my decks are on sale right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. They'll be on sale till January or maybe till the end of January, something like that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'm secretly and obsessed with you. This is your future. This person loves you.
Praying together, staying together. This person wants to pray with you. If y'all don't already pray together, you will. Or maybe they pray for you. You don't even know what you pray for them. They probably don't even know what y'all pray for each other, right? Our dreams are finally coming true. Guys, that was in the pre-shuffle as well. I saw it. This is your future. I'm hopelessly in love with you. Always yours. Always yours. This is beautiful. Friends and family. They can't wait until your friends and family meet. They can't wait until your friends and family come together. If they haven't already, they want the fems and friends and family come together. They, they want it. You heard me. I'm going to put some tarot on this, should I? <laughs> you know, tarot throws a wrench in the game. It does, but it's something you probably need to know. Because you know you had a past with this person. You know you you know what your present is. And right now, your present right now is they, they're loving on you. Okay? They're loving on you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for our collector? They're loving on you. Yep, yeah, they dropping their burdens. They are. They dropping their burdens. They don't want nobody else but you. Four cups in reverse. They ended something. Three of swords. They did. They broke somebody's heart. Either that or their heart is broken without you, right? What else is going on here? Yeah, they're going through some judgment right now. They're a hangman. But they're standing in their power. They're standing strong. They're standing as the emperor, right? They're ending something with a nine of pentacles in reverse. They're ending something with a sneaky person. This person was sneaky. Could have been stealing their money or something like that. But they're moving on to an ace of pentacles. They're like, I don't have time for this. They're going from a nine of pentacles in reverse to an ace of pentacles, right? A gift from spirit. Yep, seven of wands in reverse. This person is going to try to give them blockages. They don't want them to move on. They don't want them to offer this love. They're in their prince of cups, but someone is going to try to block them, right? Yep, and it is the, it's the king of pentacles in reverse. Could have been somebody that they was married to. They're trying to stop them from going forward. Maybe they're going to try to hold on to their money or anything like that. Yeah, it's a princess of wands in reverse. It's a karmic. But this person, they're not up in their head about it anymore. It's like they're in their nine of swords in reverse and then ten of cups in reverse. They're like, no, you can't make me stay here because of all your tantrums and all that tomfoolery. They're like, no, I'm ending this bullshit. There's no love here. It's over. Yep, this is a baby's mama. This is an empress in reverse, ten of cups in reverse. They said it's over. They're following their intuition. They're moving on to this high priestess here. You know, this person is trying to weaken your person. Your person don't feel very strong, but they standing in their strength. They're doing the best they can. They want this lover here. They want you. They're moving on. Eight of cups. They're going back to you. Y'all giving each other a second chance. They see you as the queen of pentacles. They do. Seven of Cups in reverse. They don't want anybody but you. There, there's anything else out there but you. Two of Wands. Here they come. They setting out on a new path. So their ex jumped in front of the chariot again. She, she stopped the chariot. But he's telling her. He's like, look, I don't love you. There's no love here. There's no love here. He says, let me go be happy in the Knight of Pentacles. Please, let me go be happy. That's what he said. He's begging now. He's like, please, let me go be happy. He said, you're not my wish fulfillment. I'm not your wish fulfillment. I pray for you. I'm in temperance. I, I'm, I'm hoping for the best for you. He's like, look. He says, I'm not your nine of cups. He says, we don't fulfill each other. He said, you know this. You know we're not happy together. He goes, let me go be happy. He wants this princess of Pentecost, this queen of cups. He wants this loving person. He said, you know we didn't work well together. He goes, it don't have nothing to do with no other woman. He said, you know we didn't work well together. He's moving on in his three of wands. He's hopeful. He said, you know we didn't work well together. Stop playing. Two of swords. He goes, this is over. Ten of pentacles in reverse. He says, stop playing. Two of cups in reverse. Guys, this is a wrap. Death card. As soon as I said this is a wrap, that was a death card. He don't even have to talk anymore. He doesn't. He goes, stop playing. He goes, you know this is over. Let me leave, please. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.